Hello campers. This morning we're at Anthony Chabot Campground, which is uh, right behind Lake Chabot in Castro Valley, California. You'll find Castro Valley in Alameda County, California, which is a county along the eastern shore of San Francisco Bay. This park is owned and operated by uh, East Bay Regional Parks. This organization has something like uh, 78 parks, or 70 something parks. They got a mess of them. And East Bay Regional, man, they're into hiking. Every one of their parks is just stink with uh, hiking trails. Easy ones, tough ones. This park, like a lot of their parks, they even have uh, horse trails. I can't remember if they allow you to mountain bike on their trails or not. mostly tent and they got a handful of uh, RV sites I think 12 maybe 14 and with hookups so that's pretty sweet so that's what we got we got one with uh, hookups and it, it's uh, well not full hookups I got power and water no there's a dump station in my my campground that's right. Uh, what made me falter there, because I remember seeing uh, seeing a dump station on the way out. See, here's some tent campers. It's uh, an early Wednesday morning in July. School's out. So I'm kind of surprised this park isn't more crowded than it is. Because uh, being in a... Uh, major metropolitan area like the San Francisco Bay Area I had trouble getting a reservation I, I wasn't able I wanted to find four days in a row and I could not do it uh, I was able to find uh, one night at one site and the next night at another site and after that they're booting me out everybody got here long before me and made their reservations there's some nice views of these hills most of these trees are uh, eucalyptus. <coughs> this campground is real close to our house. I mean like 30 minutes because we, we live in just the next town over in Hayward, California. Well, we do today. <laughs> We're here because we got our butt booted out of the house. The, uh, we put our house up for sale and the realtor wants to trick it out. Hey, did you see that? Peacocks. We camp at Solano Lake Campground near Winters, California, not far from Sacramento, California State Capitol. And they got peacocks everywhere across their campground. That's the only campground I've ever known that has peacocks. So that's pretty trick. So we got some more campers here. So anyway, my realtor wants to trick our house out, so he he called in a contractor and they're redoing the floors and the counters and the lights and the cabinets and this, that, and the other. So basically they booted our ass out. And so we're living in the motor home. So they don't need us underfoot, so we come down here to, for a couple days. We emptied the house and put everything in storage. And once they get done, and once we get a check for the house, we're hitting the road. Gonna search for our forever home. Some place to retire. Come on birds, you gonna join the others? No, you're not going to. You're not 
dumb enough to run out in the road in front of a vehicle. Pretty smart thinking. Now I can see the lake to the left. Uh, you can hike to the lake from here, but man, there's a steep, steep grade from because we're kind of up on the up in the hills. So if there's a steep downgrade, I fished that lake over the years when I was younger, and uh, and from the other side of the lakes where the parking lot and the marina is and you can't get to this side of the lake from that side of the lake there's uh, it's fenced off at each end but I was able to see the see the hills on this side of the lake and I was able to see the uh, um, the trails going up the the hillside that's how I know how steep it is man hey they are steep it's a couple hundred feet upgraded when I was young and strong and 20 something fishing over there that hill didn't look like anything I would enjoy hiking up even then much less now that I'm retired no I'm not much of a hiker that's why I own a Jeep so I can so I can enjoy the trails. Like everybody else and get into the backcountry, but I don't have to hoof it. There's sure a lot of people, they they enjoy that sort of thing. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with enjoying the outdoors, no matter how you do it, whether you're you're hiking or hunting or fishing or camping or RVing or jeeping or dirt biking or ATVing, canoeing, the world's a wonderful place. Every, everyone should go out and enjoy it. We brought our kitty along. Our kitty's never been away from home before. So we're uh, wanting to get her out from under the, under the bed. She has a habit of sleeping all day long. We brought a something called a, a, a kitty holster. Here's the dump station right here. I just wanted to show it to you. I, think I may have forgot to mention it on the way in. So let's, let's U-turn here. Blew right past the RV road. using an external mic this, this, today. This is the first video I intend to publish that I've used my new uh, external mic and I got my little little hairy covers on it, furry covers on my mic. Here we go. It is a weird road. It, goes, it splits right between two campsites and it looks like it looks like another campsite. Oh, we got somebody here. Oh, they're going to back up. You're going to back up. Okay, you can back up. What do you Looking bad. Okay. You get some people there in Fleetwood. I don't particularly care for that dark-ass color. See, look at the hood of this Jeep. Any dark color, boy, it sure picks up the dirt and the dust. And black is absolutely the worst. Black is probably the most gorgeous vehicle, color vehicle on the road, but it picks up dirt so much. If you ever buy a black vehicle, as you leave the dealership, you should go right to your neighborhood full service car wash and set up an account. You're going to need to go there every goddamn weekend. Have wash it real good and go inside. Hey, when a bagel looks familiar. So we're going to put Kitty on a leash and we're going to take her for a walk. I don't know how, how she's going to take the leash, in, but when we hit the road, it's the only exercise she's going to get. That she's going to have to be on a leash. She's real skittish and she gets the shit scared out of her, just noises we make in the house. So uh, I don't think she'll be... I don't think she's going to be... Uh, 
wanting to take a walk down the sidewalk in town. Not our kitty, but like to get her out and walk her through the through the park. Let her smell the leaves. Alright, that's pretty much it for this campground. Let me uh, show you a our first camp at this place, we're going to be in campsite 11 last night and we're going to be in campsite 4 tonight. So let me show you 11. It's got some beautiful trees. Most of these are eucalyptus. This is an RV site with hookups. This park has, I believe, 14 RV hookup sites. There's our table and fire pit. Got a nice, nice room. Park your tow vehicle. Come down here and inspect the equipment. If you can raise that. Boy, I can't tell you how many times I see people uh, th throw their their meat right on that nasty ass dirty ass grill and I also can't tell you how many times I've seen a bird or a squirrel up on top of that grill doing unmentionable things so best practices lay down some uh, aluminum foil then put your food on top of that <coughs> and these tables always got these stains I always wanted to wonder what that is I one time I was in a campground and I watched a big old hawk come wheeling out of the sky and he plunged down into the grass and he come up the little rodent and he wheeled around he landed right on a table and he commenced to rip the little little fellow apart and, and eat him right there on the table before his breakfast I guess that hawk knew exactly what that table was for and was using it as intended. The point is, also use a tablecloth. Here's our hookups. I wonder what this big tall pipe is all about. So we got our got a dump station. I always dump afterwards. I, I never stay here for 30 days at a time. When uh, we may be uh, in the future. What is this? Um, you know, I bet that's a vent, and they build it like this so you wouldn't run over it. Although they they do have these. Anyhow, all they have here. See, they got 30 and 20. That's all you get. And. Uh, Pretty nice. See, we're back in the hills. See, there's some beautiful hills over there. And hiking trails everywhere. And you can hike to the lake and fish if you so desire. I'm pretty sure there's no fishing or no swimming at this lake. I could be wrong. You know, I haven't been to that lake in a lot of years. When, when I, I guess what I'm saying is when I used to go there, I don't recall ever seeing a swimming beach or anything at this park. Pretty nice. All right. Today we're in site number four. Let me show you what's really cool about this site. This here is the main road. And so I drove down there and then you drive in this driveway and you come in right here and I pulled right there and threw in reverse and slid right into the site. Man, what an easy way to, way to park if you got a big rig like this. I didn't know it was like that when I made the reservation, but I sure was glad to have it. So over here you got place here to park your car underneath this uh, little shady tree or you can get it right here if you need. And back here, got the campground, or camp table. They got nice, almost brand new looking uh, fire pits here. Got the nice uh, barbecue grill. We got a big area here, you know, if you want to play kickball or badminton or put up a tent. Here you are. We got a neighbor right here, not too far away, but far enough. Kind of a hill right here. Heals all our hookups. Oh yeah, these are these are all RV sites. 
This park doesn't have a terrible number of RV sites, 12 or 14, something like that. Here's my water. I think this is the stack, the uh, vent stack for the, uh, the dump tank. You got that. But what I did notice, boy, look at this. Looks like a brand new electrical, I don't know what you call it, saying pole, tower. But look, he's got it all. He's got 50, 30, and 20. Man, oh man. See, I use 30, but you know what? Whenever 50 is available, I use it. And I'll tell you why. Because you got, you got 50 and 50. So now instead of having 30, uh, you got 50 supply. Boy, I can't tell you how many times I've heard about uh, motor homes or fifth wheels. They get the air conditioner going, they got the microwave going, the mama uh, fires up her uh, 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 hair dryer and the breaker goes pop. And that's because they, they take, even though it's a 30 amp coach, it, they're, they're trying to use more than 30. Well, plug it into the 50. Now you got 50. Uh, you're not likely to pop that. If you do, you're really abusing and overloading your electrical system. So, as I recall, uh, see these are all eucalyptus trees, and uh, they uh, uh, eucalyptus was hauled into California on several occasions. One time for lumber, it turns out these make pretty miserable lumber. I can't remember what else. Fast growing, uh, replanting. Now that it does. These trees survive. These trees will 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 thrive in the uh, the worst. Uh, drought imaginable because they're they're native to Australia and uh, they uh, uh, down in Australia they, they don't know anything but dry and in, in the uh, Australia outback so campers I'm gonna go inside and enjoy the air conditioner it's a, uh, a Wednesday morning in July and I was kind of surprised if you notice there's quite a few open sites here and there and over there and over there. Uh, they, they, most of the campsites in this park are tent and they're over there near the lake and you can hike right down to the lake if you like to. It's, it's a bit of a distance and it's, it's quite a grade but uh, a lot of young people do it. Uh, but my point I'm trying to make is uh, I was surprised that there's any uh, much less as many free sites as there are because you're in the, the greater San Francisco Bay Area. This is a big ass metropolitan area. We got nine million people living this this metropolitan area. So summertime, the kids are out of school. It's vacation season. I'm really surprised that there's there's any open campsites. But what do I know? Maybe there's something going on this week that nobody told me about. Nobody ever tells me nothing. All right, campers. It's good talking to you. Thank you for watching my video, and I hope I catch you on the trail. Happy camping!